Troubles, all the noise and the hurry seems to help. I know downtown. Just listen to the music of the traffic in the city. Linger on the sidewalks where the neon signs are pretty. How can you lose? Separates us. Are we there yet? You said five minutes. Technically, it's been more than five minutes. Let's just all start slowing down. Wow. Do you believe I found this online? Well, I guess it's not that secret a beast. Whoa. Who would leave this? From the hotel! They're so rusted! What's happening? Found stuff from the hotel in the sand. How quickly can that happen? Seven years. But she just died. Wait, where are the kids? Trent! Kara! Come here! Hey, have you seen my children? Mom? I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> Dad, why are you looking at me like that? What's happening to us? My daughter just turned six two weeks ago. Mom! Whatever's happening to us is happening very fast. You have wrinkles. There's something wrong with this beach. What's happening? Mom! 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 I'm scared! We have to get off this beach! People are blacking out going this way. If she makes it to the ledge, she might have a chance. Why is she stopping? Why is she stopping? Kara, wake up! Wake up! Ah! They have to know what this place does. I don't know! You're lying! Look! What is that? A message. We never leave each other. Nothing separates us. We're connected to something bigger. Oh no. We're here for a reason. Should have packed our snowshoes. What? People do that? You know, fun fact. 
Not only is it the oldest, but remains one of the most effective means of traversing the ice. Wow. Yeah, you're going to fit right in at Beaver Field. Everything here is a little <laughs> questionable. Ranger! The people. The weather. Everything. Oh. Ranger, you look like you just seen a corpse. Well, the roads are amped, and something's wrong with the generator. Which generator? All of them. Thank you, on the internet! Uh, also, there's a dead body under your porch. Holy ah! Ah! Probably a wolf. What are you, like a wolf detective, Mel Marcus? Who knows who or when it's gonna kill next. I think we can all agree that it's unsafe outside and there's safety in numbers. Out of curiosity, who is packing? Well, we're having a good old fashioned sleepover. With guns, though. With guns, yes. Everything about this predator is unorthodox. It's not human, it's not a canine. But it's one of them. One of what? A lycanthrope. A what? A werewolf. How could it have gotten in here? Oh. How did it get out? Who says it got out? <laughs> Maybe. I'm a werewolf. Maybe you're a werewolf. Maybe you're a werewolf. You're a werewolf. You're a werewolf. You're a werewolf. Maybe we're all werewolves. Are we really in a Mexican standoff right now? Maybe. Don't say Mexican. Just stand up. You know, we're probably just gonna head out. Wait, this is just pull it. Oh, yeah. Please, I didn't it on her. Oh, it's just a oh, Hey, you go ahead, please. Don't spare oh, me. Oh, please, please. don't. Oh, please. Please don't spare bottom the lock. Oh, my goodness. Myself. I could have gotten it. Sorry, Frank. Sorry, strong form. My name is Dr. Lily Houghton. My brother and I are looking for passage up river. What's out there in the jungle? It's not a fun vacation. Well, I'm not here for a vacation. Legend has it that there is a tree that possesses unparalleled healing power. It will change medicine forever. And you need someone to help you find it. Here we go. Sometimes it just needs a bit of a... Nobody touches my engine but me. What did I just do? There you go. <laughs> We're gonna do this together. Haven't you been dreaming about adventure? She was always chasing after some far-fetched idea. There's no such thing as curses. Everything that you see wants to kill you and can. Do you want to turn back? No, nope, just getting started. Torpedo. Oh my. You were lucky to get out of those escape rooms alive. I need to know that the criminals who killed the four people in front of me are held accountable. They're hiding in plain sight in the middle of Manhattan. We need to stop them. I'm in. I know this is a lot to ask, but thank you for coming with me. Do you hear that? Hey, what the hell is going on? The train is uncoupled! Ah. You've got to be kidding me. Hold on! Welcome to Minos Escape Rooms. 
No, no, no. It's happening again. You guys have played no. the game before? So what is this? Like a tournament of champions? Look, we all know how this works. We solve the puzzles or we die. Ah! False advertising must be pulled. This ad, yourself is missing an E. So maybe we pull the corresponding handles with a missing letter. Yes! E. Damn, damn. Seven, eight. Come on, we don't have time! The missing letters are W, B, and O! This is way bigger than last time. You gotta try something, right? No, 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 no. There's a special reason each of us survived. I can't feel physical pain. Just imagine the kinds of puzzles they came up with for me. Take a picture, it will last longer. Get some clue. This looks just like the lighthouse on the postcard. Over. I'm done running. We can beat them at their own game. What makes you think they're gonna let you walk away free again? We can make it stop! We're gonna get us killed. Come on! I'm not playing your game! Not now! Not ever! We made it! <gasps> we made it! <laughs> I don't understand. We're still in the game. Oh, no, no. <laughs>
This device facilitates your jump to and from the future war. One minute to jump. Oh, here, buddy. Take that. You just look around like that. Why are you so calm? Long story. Are you ex-military? Yeah. Kind of a short story, I guess. Three, two, one. In 11 months' time, all human beings in the future will be wiped from the face of the Earth. Unless you help us. I was trying to save my daughter. If I got to save the world to save her, then I'm going to do it. This is the end. The human species will disappear from the face of the Earth. We are literally living on borrowed time. There's still a chance that we can stop this war from ever happening. So we gotta fight. Well, it was nice knowing you. So, you two need a little help. I will give you the best possible chance of getting pregnant. How does that sound? That sounds great. Am I gonna be one of those women who has it all? My career, or my kids, my old man by my side? Who are you calling old? You are 100% pregnant. <laughs> you a little crazy i am seeing things honey me too i'm having the wildest mommy brain lately <laughs> i don't i don't think it's mommy brain i think dr Kendall did something i think they're in on it in on what dr Kendall gives me a bad feeling i want to see someone more natural. There's a lot of voodoo out there. We just want to make sure that you get the best possible care. Confront whatever it is that's blocking you from you. I'm not crazy. They're trying to make me think I'm crazy. Lucy, just push. Hey, this pregnancy shit is no joke, right? Yeah. Okay, it's really scary. Brilliant.
Mr. Lansky, is there such a thing as organized crime? I have no knowledge on the subject. Mr. Lansky, it's a pleasure. Why does David Stone want to write a book about me? Maybe I like stories about complicated people. Anything I choose to tell you is off the record until I give you permission to put it in the book. Any conversations you have about me, I want to know. Betray me, and there will be consequences. I don't have the power to change my past. I do have the power to change the perception of it. I built my business from the ground up. We don't choose sides. We choose opportunities. Make him feel it, Benny. No. They still consider you part of the underworld. We weren't the underworld. We were the overworld. Lansky has $300 million squirreled away, and we want your help finding it. Now, we could let it slip to Mr. Lansky that you've been sharing his secrets. That's not going to go well for you. There are people in this world who will try to make you believe that they are better than you. Rage is a tool we use to prove them wrong. I don't question the choices I make. We've got a paper trail of laundered money going in and out of Geneva. When you lose your character, you lose everything. Remember that. Never let your emotions dictate your actions. I'm an angel with a dirty face. Is that what you tell yourself so you can sleep at night? I don't have to tell myself anything when I go to sleep at night. It's the way we live. It's business. Do you feel as though you had to sacrifice anything to stay in dance? The Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater is one of the most important contemporary dance companies in the world. People were just, oh my God, they'd never seen anything like it. Choreographers start with an empty space, a body or two, and we say, carve the space. I love creating something where there was nothing before. I was born in the Depression, 1931. Rural country, tough times. When I was 14, I discovered the theater. And it touched something in me. But there was no bodyguard. Alvin entertained my dreams that a black boy could actually dance. Being able to say through the choreography, I am. It transcends dance. I had my own ideas. Not just to do a step, but to feel something. He was working at a feverish pitch, totally immersed. People say, why is he doing that now? If you're a black anything in this country, people want to put you into a bag. This is what he took up as his crusade. Alvin's protest was on the stage. I want to feel all the anger and the sense of cursing at the outside room. I wanted to do the kind of dance that it could be done for the man on the streets, the people, that it was part of their culture. And that it was universal. Förägaren, de renoverade ju huset. Hallå? Du bor ett barn här. Det har nog bott ett barn här. Det 
inte bor någon pojke här bredvid va? Nu kommer jag! Lukas! Hej! Du har en halva gått igen. Just det, precis. Och det är de som har köpt eh, Peter och Jennys gamla hus. Du vet vad som hände där va? I thought you were someone else. It's all right. Let me buy you a drink to, to make um, up for the it. The drinks are free. Oh, they so. will terrific. Yeah. I'll definitely get you one then. Please. <laughs> you know, I never thought this day would come. Any normal man would have married Leanne the second he laid eyes on her. But not Teddy. He waited and waited. He waited. Yeah, I'm not that bad. Let's talk about it later. Later. Later? Anyway, Leanne, he's your problem now. And I find later can often turn into too late. Well, you know, you don't want to rush things, do you? What if you woke up and a whole year had gone by? Just like that. Leanne? Are you okay? Oh, no offense, but you do it very bloody. That's pretty normal for 18 weeks. Of what? Of being pregnant. You're pregnant? Okay, this is not funny. I've been waking up tight. Yesterday, we got married. That is today, a year ago. Day after day. Every few minutes, another year goes by. Say hi to Daddy. Oh, here he is. She is. Yeah, that would be my second guess. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something, and it's going to blow your mind. Strap yourself in. I think I have travelled through time. Where'd you end up? Here. Uh, now. I don't think you get how time travel works. I don't know what's happened to us the last couple of years. Well, I haven't been here for any of it. Exactly. This curse has ruined my life. Teddy? Who are you? What but, is going on? Leanne, are you OK? This strange and, I'm hoping, gay man is in your house for some reason. You know exactly who he is. Cousin? He's my boyfriend. So when you look at yourself... The harder I try, the worse things are. It's life. It's never perfect. I have to save my marriage. We have to call her. Hi. Happy anniversary. You finally remembered. Did you get me something? It's on mute. You get me a fruit basket, make sure there's lots of bananas and peaches in it, if you know what I mean. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't press mute, Teddy. Don't take your life. I would like to apologise for not telling you every day that I love you. Take your life. Sorry I didn't have time to wrap it. You got me a bra, yeah, but the fifth I... anniversary gift is wood. I was about to give you a bit of that. Oh, well, so. that's so yeah. sweet. Why don't you hold on tight to what you've been handling? With tragedy comes strength. Put your faith in our Lord. Ten years ago today, we lost one of our brothers, Gio's father. Tonight, we celebrate his memory. Giovanni, don't forget to light a candle for your father. And don't forget the cake. Yo, Gio, where's your cousin? Yeah, where is Leo? FBI guys was asking about Leo. You didn't talk to him, did you? No. I wouldn't repeat anything you said about the feds to anyone. Especially not your Uncle Angelo. These two guys in the bar, you see them? Yeah. I think I heard them say something about Leo. Leo! Leo, you upstairs! Leo! I did what you asked. I brought you to Leo. So where is he? Don't say nothing.
I shall with you. There's going to be lots of revelations that you may not understand, but you will in time. We've been celebrating your father for 10 years on this day. No Leo this year? If he's got mixed up with the feds, it can be tricky. If there's anything that you want to say, I promise your uncle won't get mad. Our blood runs through every one of us. But tonight, blood needs to be spilled. You don't have to do this anymore, Mom. I don't make it for them. I make it for your father.